So, you have decided to jump into the crypto market. You go onto Google with much excitement to buy your first Bitcoin and you get completely overwhelmed by all the different brokers that are available. Which one do you choose? And how do you even start this journey? Well, you are in luck. As in today's video, I will show you exactly all the different ways in which you can invest in the crypto market as a South African and I will provide you with a couple of brokers that I personally use and trust. Alright, so grab your moon and let's go crypto! Because you know crypto to the moon. Alright, so the most obvious way to get into crypto is to buy individual crypto coins. You basically get the most popular coin, Bitcoin, and then you get altcoins, which are all the other coins apart from Bitcoin. Just as of shares, you get the large cap or blue chip coins, which are those who have been around for the longest and who have established themselves as relatively stable and reliable. These blue chip coins are considered to be the top five crypto coins by market cap, meaning Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance coin, Cardano and Solano, for example. You then also get your mid cap and small cap coins, which are those who are still relatively new and much more unstable, but who also provide more potential for higher returns. Now, just as it is risky to try and pick individual shares, it is even more risky to try and pick individual crypto coins. You can make a lot of money, but you can also lose everything if you put all your eggs into one basket. Many of the mid and small cap altcoins prices are influenced by the market's emotions and will therefore have a massive volatility. If you want to buy individual coins, then it would be wise to invest the majority of your crypto portfolio I'd say at least 70% in the top two blue chip coins such as Bitcoin and Ethereum and if you want to potentially get high returns you can allocate another 20% to other large cap coins such as Ripple, Binance Coin, Cardano and Solano and if you want to have a shot at gambling and you want to be part of the whole media hype then I believe you can also allocate the last 10% to the speculative small cap coins such as Shiba Inu, Dogecoin or Flokicoin. Right, so if you are only interested in buying the large cap crypto coins, then exchanges like Luno and Revix will be your best options. Both of them are really simple, straightforward and easy to understand and their fees are pretty much the same. But if you want to have access to more speculative altcoins, then you might need to consider opening an account with Valar, Binance or Altcoin Trader. All three of them have their own levels of complexity, but if you click around enough, you should be able to become comfortable with the platform. Now, you will probably notice that there are many other platforms available that you can also use, and trying to test all of them will take me forever. These are the most popular ones that I could find that South Africans are using right now and from my own research they all seem to be secure. But seeing that crypto is an unregulated market it opens up the opportunity to get easily scammed. So it is always a good idea to stick with platforms that are well established and who also have an international footprint. Luno and Binance therefore take the prize for being the most reputable platforms currently available to South Africans as they have been around the longest and have a very good track record. But you can also still use the other platforms if you want, just know that they might present a little bit more risk as they are all still relatively new. Now if any of you guys watching this have any experience with some of these platforms then please let us know down in the comments. Now, the great thing about all these platforms is that you don't have to buy whole coins. Bitcoin, which currently trades around 1 million rand each, would be far out of reach for almost all of us. But luckily, you can buy fractions of the coin, so 
if you only have 100 Rand to invest, then you can still buy 0.0001 Bitcoin, which is great because it makes it accessible to everyone regardless of your budget. Now investing in a single crypto coin will give you considerably less exposure to the sometimes unpredictably good performance of another coin. There once was a good case in holding only Bitcoin, but over the past four years, the total value of Bitcoin versus the total value of all crypto assets has declined from around about 85% to around 50%. That means that other coins through significant gains in value have significantly outperformed Bitcoin. For example, over the past year, Bitcoin has realized a gain of 215%, but a bundle that tracks the top 10 crypto coins have realized a gain of 467%, which just shows you that some of the alternative coins outperformed the Bitcoin giant by quite a margin. And when it comes to crypto, the top performers rarely repeat their performance for many months in a row. Some crypto coins may register as a top performer one month, but may then actually register as the worst performer in the following month. So if you don't want to pick individual crypto coins and you are by habit a more broad index or ETF investor, then you can always consider investing in crypto bundles. These function very similar to a unit trust in which the bundle tracks the performance of a couple of crypto coins subject to certain rules of inclusion. And then when you buy into the bundle, you basically buy into each one of the coins within the bundle. It is similar to buying an ETF that tracks the performance of the JSE top 40 or the S&P 500 index. This immediately provides you with a lot more diversification to your portfolio, thereby ensuring that you get exposure to potential winners to increase your potential returns, whilst also decreasing the concentration risk of only being invested in one or two coins. Having a diversified crypto portfolio is the only safety net against poor performance and will increase your chances of being exposed to several top performers in a row. Now, the most popular crypto bundle providers in South Africa are currently Easy Equities, Revix and Bitfund. Easy Equities offer the EC10 token, which tracks the performance of the top 10 crypto coins weighted by market capitalization. This means that Bitcoin, whose market cap is the highest, will take up the majority of the holdings in the index, followed by Ethereum, Binance Coin and Solano, etc. Revix also offers a top 10 crypto bundle, but instead of being weighted by market capitalization, the top 10 coins are all equally weighted in the index. So Bitcoin, who would take up 55% in the top 10 bundle of EC10 token, will only take up 10% of the Revix top 10 bundle. Likewise, Terra, which only makes up 0.85% of the EC10 token, will also contribute 10% to the Revix top 10 bundle. So which one should you choose then? Well, it really depends on what the market is doing. An equal weighted bundle, such as the one from Revix, tends to perform better in a bull market where the altcoins tend to outperform the more established blue chip cryptocurrencies. Whereas in a bear market, a market cap weighted fund, such as the one from Easy Equities, might do better if there is a big downturn as the small coins tend to lose a lot more value a lot faster than the well-established coins such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. But you can always split your allocation equally between the two to ensure that you get the best performance regardless of what the market is doing. Bitfund is another exchange with similar offerings as they also have a market weighted top 10 bundle, an equal weighted top 10 bundle, but they also have a top 20 market weighted bundle where they track the top 20 cryptocurrencies with a 15% cap per crypto coin. This product will give you a bit more exposure to the mid and small cap coins, which can again 
potentially deliver higher returns during a strong bull market. These bundles are automatically readjusted or reweighted either weekly or monthly. So you don't have to worry that one crypto gets overexposed to the other as the platform will monitor this on your behalf. Also, if a new coin does really well and enters the top 10 arena in terms of market cap, these bundles will automatically swoop the coin up during the next rebalancing session, thereby ensuring that you never miss out on the top performing crypto coins. Likewise, if a crypto coin completely goes to sh then the bundle will also kick it out during the next rebalancing session as to reduce your exposure to that coin's losses. Just note that with these crypto bundles, you don't physically own the coins, meaning if you invest in a top 10 bundle, you cannot extract your Bitcoin crypto from the bundle and then move it to another exchange. So if you follow the crypto bundle route, then the idea should be to mainly capitalize on the growth of the crypto coins, not to actually use them as a means of transaction. Now, apart from buying and holding your crypto coins with the hopes that their value will increase over time, you can now also put those crypto coins in high interest savings accounts, similar to what you can do with your money in the bank, which allows you to earn a bit of extra passive income. Exchanges like Luno, Altcoin Trader and Binance all offer these saving vaults, each one with their own interest percentages. They also have their own risks associated with these vaults as your crypto are technically more prone to hackers as it is lying on an exchange, but it is not something that I am personally too concerned about. As long as you use a reputable exchange, then you should be rather assured that they will have the correct security measures in place to protect your crypto coins. But just be aware that you will carry some risk when using the service as with most things in life. Risk equals reward, right? Now, if you are still skeptical about crypto and you do not want to risk any of your money by buying crypto directly, but you still want to have some exposure to the crypto market, then you can always consider investing in companies that have exposure to the blockchain technology in one form or the other. Some big companies like Tesla, MicroStrategy and Square all invest in Bitcoin themselves. So if you own shares in one of these companies, then you indirectly get exposure to crypto as well. But if picking individual shares are also not in your alley, then the safest and easiest way to get exposure to crypto is to continue to do the old boring time-tested investment strategy of just investing in broad market ETFs. Why? Because if commercially viable and sustainable products, services or applications emerge in the cryptocurrency field, we will start to see more crypto businesses popping up everywhere. Some of these will end up on the stock exchange and as these businesses grow, the bigger, more profitable ones will start being included in broad based indices. So even if you just continue to buy broad market ETFs, these passive index funds will naturally start picking up the various companies which have deemed themselves profitable and stable enough to be included in the index, thereby giving you the exposure you need to the crypto industry when the time is right. Now at this point, I'm sure that you are aware that crypto as a whole are still seen as very risky investments. So you should always only put your money into crypto that you are not scared to lose. Most experts suggest that your crypto investments should make up only between two and 5% of your total investment portfolio. So please don't go overboard with this and invest money that you may need in the future. I am personally only using Luno to buy individual crypto coins such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then I also buy into the top 10 market cap bundle from Easy Equities, as well as the top 10 equal weighted bundle from Revix. I can personally vouch for all three of these platforms to be secure and safe 
and so far I only had a pleasant experience with them all. Now I do have affiliate links to all three of these platforms down in the description that you can go check out and if you are interested in opening an account with my links you can get a 25 rand voucher with Luno, a 50 rand voucher with Easy Equities and a massive 200 round voucher with Revex to help kickstart your crypto journey. And if you open an account and make a successful investment of at least 1000 Rand on Monday 29 November 2021 with Revex using my referral code, you will get a whopping 500 Rand voucher. That is already an instant 50% return on your investment. So if you are still wondering, then now is the time to open an account and get started with your crypto journey. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope that you found this video helpful and if you did then please smack that like button so that the YouTube algorithm can promote this video to more people. And if you'd like me to review any of these platforms in more depth then please let me know down in the comments. So that is all for today folks. Have a lack of day and I'll see you in another video next week. Cheers.